All right, we're here. Well. Well, here is relative. Where is here? Yeah. We're on the internet. We're everywhere. Yes. Hey, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Painting Happy Little Minis. I'm your host, Rick, here at the Comic Wall Studios for Game Trade Media. And we're going to be uh, doing Dark Age today. I got my co-host over hell. Kurt. Dark Age. Look at that. Void where prohibited. That is accurate. True. Yeah, absolutely. True if, story. if he comes up, void it. Just void everything. Delete. And if you add an A to that, avoid. It's true yeah. also. It yeah. works many levels. Absolutely. So, yes, Dark Age and these models are sick nasty. Yeah. I'm super excited. Uh, do you know what these big dudes are called? These are, okay, so these ones that we're oh. going to be working on are coming out of the... Was this a starter set? The yes, two-player two two player player starter, starter set. set. Okay. Uh, the Path to Glory two-player starter box. And let's, you know, it comes with the quick rules here. I kind of punched a few things out already. How dare also, you? I just got really excited. So really it's, excited. it's going to come with a bunch of uh, little tokens templates. and templates for explosions and fireballs and all sorts of things. A ruler and some other like rubble and cool. obstacles and such. A little bit of terrain, what not? And uh, dice and, of course, your things here for the, the basis for the mi gotcha. miniatures. So, Spirit Lord of Ice is the one with the two swords, which okay. you have. Yes. Um, I'm trying to see what the factions are we're looking at here, though. Well, it's probably in the... In the all the quick start guys. In the quick start guy, yeah. So, um, do, 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 do. before you start to play, you, you'll need to do the following things. And it gets Don't, all this stuff. Before Don't assembly. want that. Which we didn't do any of those things. Um, what else is now? Yeah, we're just trying to find... What factions we're playing with here? Well, it would probably say on the box. On the box itself? You think on the back of the box? Probably. It'll have... You know what? You're assaulting me with facts. Yes, yes, what can you do? But at least we have pictures of how they're supposed to be painted, so that helps. Yes. Um, because, uh, yeah, like I said, we, we never played before. We've never, um, this is our first, before. we've never, um, this is our first kind of models of paint also. Yeah. So now that we have the stuff and uh, put some of it together and start painting it, we'll be able to play, try it out. I'm excited because I've heard nothing but good things about this game. All right, so we have the Forsaken, which are these little guys here. Uh, and like this little bug creature. Yeah. That has those, like those, a gun in its. Tail the, out there. The, okay, those are the for Forsaken. The Forsaken, okay. and then the Drag uh, Dragiri Ice Cast, which is what we are going to be painting, are the larger, like ice giant looking creatures. Okay. Um, we have a Spirit Lord, a Death Device, and two Soul Searchers, which is kind of cool. Sweet. Um, These guys are uh, large comparatively to uh, to the to the Forsaken. The well, I'm guessing this Isaac. would be the normal size. Yeah, a normal size human person. So yeah. yeah. There's another mo uh, model in here that's like a larger robot-looking thing, but um, it didn't come with the head. Oh, miss the head? Yeah, it was missing the head, so we're going to have to find a bit to, to replace that. Well, I'm sure we can contact them. I'm sure they'll yeah, replace it. absolutely. It came uh, with an extra arm. Though, I wouldn't suggest just adding an extra head. Dang it. Or just, just finding a head lying around. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure they would probably be against you just adding a Space Marine helmet on top I of it. I would put a Space Marine helmet on it. I'd put, you know, I'd probably sculpt a head and it looked oh, freaking awesome because really I could do good. that. Oh, that good, yeah. That's, that's great. But we also got a couple of little booster boxes here that have some other uh, character types in. So we have Daguri Firecast, uh, two different, the Volcanic and uh, the Volcanic Hellot box and the Leadership box and the Inferno box. And we also got a Forsaken, a Forsaken Faction starter box in here. Oh wow! So these things th that I opened up, this one here is the um, Volcanic Hellot box, and these guys are, you know, your um, pewter or yeah, your metal guys. Your yeah. metal guys, and mm -hmm. these things are hefty and big and sick. But you have to glue them together. So this one had the spear in the hands, and you had to glue it onto the body and put the head on it. So these were mostly together, or do these well, have you have the well? body as the main piece uh -huh. that's put together. But you have to put the head on this one and the arm, this long arm holding the spear, and the small hand holding the spear. You just glue it on there. Okay. But it comes with these little skirt pieces as well. Okay. Uh, that you know, and some of the skirts are also like shoulder things on like here in this box um i'll show you these ones these ones were actually plastic as well so you got this guy look at that dude 
Oh, nice. Yeah, he's cool. He's got a lot of open flesh, which I know you like to paint flesh. I painted it all. It's a, this is the lining in all those armor plates from the Dark Souls. Was, was killing you? It's not killing me. It's just it was a lot. And this one actually comes with a cool, like, um, uh, clear colored shield that makes it look like it's like a like an electronic or a oh, sun yeah, yeah, energy yeah. shield. Yeah, yep. Which is pretty cool. Yeah, I've seen those on some of the models uh, uh, on the tables. So there's lots of cool bits and pieces when it, you know for the model builder in you. If you want to just build the models and paint them and everything, it absolutely will fit that uh, wonderful ticket. And then the small one there has a bunch. This has like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, one, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight miniatures in it. This this box does of the Forsaken, which are your human-sized uh, character types, um, and they're all you know the the metal yeah. uh, metal uh, models and need to be clipped off of little spews and stuff as well. Yeah, and if you want to look up more information, guys, you can go to your local game stores or, or just check out their website, coolmanyornot.com, I believe is what it is. Um, or just Google search Cool Mini or Not. Yeah, Cool Mini or Not. Um, or, or, or search, yeah, or, or, or search for Dark Age miniatures. Mm. Um, that'll probably link, link right there. But yeah. the, the stuff is very, very cool. Um, and like I said, it's been on our radar for a long time. Yeah, that we're finally and excited like to, to be going. And we'd like to thank them for Absolutely. sending it to us. Yep. Yeah. Um, I'm sure... Uh, there we go. I haven't even opened it up to say hi to everybody yet. Uh, he's the worst. He's that excited. Carl was the first. Congrats, Carl. <laughs> you win the prize. Uh, Mike says he loves Dark Age. It should get back into it. Clayton Kirks. Good morning, Clayton and Carl and Drew and Steven and Brian. Set you up with a replacement Ajax head, guys. Yeah, that's Brian. Brian's the one that sent it to us. Awesome, Brian. We, Thank we, you we very appreciate much, appreciate it. Um, come see me at Gen Con. At the booth, and I'll oh, sort yeah, you out. Oh, yeah, that'll work out. Yeah, absolutely. Like, we're going to be at Gen Con? Psh, yeah, yo. So here's a box that I haven't opened yet, so we can kind of take a look at what what it looks like just right out the box. And this is the Dra uh, Dragiri Firecast, the Inferno box, and it comes oh. with two miniatures, an Inferno male and an Inferno female. So you're going to get some of your playing cards here, the Inferno uh, cards, one for each of the characters, I believe. Well, I would hope so. Yeah, no, just one, just one. That's okay. Oh, is it like a basic troop kind of thing? Yeah, it's oh, a, okay, so it's not necessary. Yeah, that, yeah. Okay, I thought there were characters. No, I think the leader ones have one for each. Yeah. Yeah. So, these are really, again, these ones are coming in a heavy metal Bag, and they each come, so each model has all their bits in one bag each. And Jesus, look at the size of this monster. Not, not small. Not small. Um, not screwing around. So the, it comes with its bases. This one's going to have, uh, wow, yeah, this guy's a beast. So yeah, this is what it's going to look like. It's going to come in there. Everything is individual, so you're going to glue it on. Uh, it's got these little, like, uh, wings and feathery-looking things that represent flame, I'm guessing. And then it has its arms that you would glue in there on each side. And then its head here, which is, yeah, this guy's sick. I don't know why I didn't put this one together to paint, but I will. <laughs> but, yeah, he looks great. So, yeah, so there's Dark Age. And we're going to paint these guys up. So yeah, we're going we're gonna to get them painted. Or, <laughs> we're going to start today, and yeah, because like, yeah, we're fast. So. Right. <laughs> so. But no, this is, is going to be cool because, like I said, the last model was mm -hmm. all armor. Like, I like a good combination of armor right. and flesh. So this, these models are going to fit that bill very nicely. Good. And this guy's not screwing around either. So the one thing that was a little difficult, and this is not a complaint because again, it, the modeler, if, you're, if you are into the model builds, this is just another one of those steps. The, the miniatures themselves uh, that came in the starter box have pegs on their feet. So you're gonna have to take their bases because all the bases come flat and you're gonna have to drill. They have these little markers where you can put the holes in that, that Kurt, showed me. You have to drill those out and then you will place your your, mon your miniature on those bases. Mm -hmm. um, but So it's just an, an extra step. 
Well, it's good, and, and that's if you decide to use the pegs, because mm -hmm. that's optional. You could just cut, cut the pegs off. Sure. Um, and, and the reason I think that they do that is because they're putting them out of a lot of scenic bases and stuff like that, so it gives you the options of how to use them. Instead sure. Of putting the pegs in there and whatnot. Um, so, that I mean, it's, it wasn't that big of a deal, so. Yeah. The only thing is, is the device we use to oh, drill. Oh, my God. So, yeah. So, Army Painter War Paints, which we do like those guys. We do. You know, and everything. But I think they may need to re reassess their, 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 pin vice. their pin vice here, yeah. So, they had the pin vice they had. Um, all the bits were, were, were too small for the initial dr drill bit. Mm -hmm. So, I flipped the drill bit because I know there's two sides to all of them. And the other one was too small for all of them. Or too big. No, no, the other, the other, they, were, they were too big for the bit size. So, yeah, oh, either, either way, okay. both sizes were either too big or too small for any of the bits. Yeah, and regardless of how much and, you tighten it up, it wouldn't no, pinch it. Nothing. Yeah. Like, oh, I could, yeah, no, 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 no. Okay. Not even close. All right. Um, so, it was uh, so, so, dang it. So, I had to, had to do it the hard way, and that was using the, the, the blade and the clippers. Oh. Which, which not, again, not a huge deal because I've done that before with uh, other products. So, I'm gonna take a look at this. I so it looks like they have like a gray blue. Who's that? Or the flesh tones? What What do you got over there? So yeah, what I was gonna do with them is, um, was uh, yeah, like a like a like a kind of a darky flesh color with uh, with. I was actually gonna do like a purple inlay. So like mm -hmm. in the, the recesses were gonna be light purple, um, and I was gonna do blue on the metallics. Oh, okay. So, so that actually was what I was gonna go with. So purple skin, you know. Tone with, but it won't be. It'll just oh, be in the I recesses. See. Yeah. Um, with, uh, like I said, with blue in the recesses for the metallics, and I actually brought out the, a blue glaze to maybe try out also. Oh, Plus, nice. we have to do the blades in this guy are, are, are all crazy blue, so uh, so we'll try some some neat techniques out with that when we get to it. Right. I believe with their powers of ice, if that's what you're saying. You know, that's probably yeah, these are the ice casts. What I'm gonna see there is a. Something like that. So lots of crazy blues. Nice. Who doesn't like a good crazy blue? Uh, right. Who? It's literally the best. So yeah, um, who out there in the chat has actually uh, played or painted any, uh, any any dark age stuff? We've got some folks that like Mike Rick says that he has played it, loves it, should get back in it. Brian put a link up there for you guys if you need a link to find out more about dark age at oh, dark-age.com. Awesome. Hey, Kanan. James Ho, what's up? Steven Cannon says, the bases are designed for the base inserts they make, which are plastic. They can be drilled into that. Yep. Uh, Nate, hey, everyone. Rick and Kurt, show me what you got show on the you Elon Musk miniature stand. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll show you. Here's, here's an example <laughs> of one of the... Who made it? it? Yeah, that's right. It's our Elon Musk miniature <laughs> rotating stand. There we go. So that's what they kind of look like. Uh, just primed up. Oh, he's all blue, glowy. Look how yeah, glowy. Yeah, he's got that glowy thing going Amazing. on. Three billion. Didn't your paint scrub? Three <laughs> billion. <laughs> Three billion. I got my spinny mini stand. Uh, very happy. Thanks for alerting me to its coolness. Absolutely, Carl. Uh, what's Kurt's shirt say? Yo, homies, smell you later. <laughs> oh. Yo, Holmes. Yeah, I was feeling. It's a Fresh Prince day. It is, I, and I live in Bel Air. Fresh Prince Tuesday. Nice. All right, so I'm going to get to work on this guy here then. Yeah? Yeah. I'm going to have to take well, off my glasses please. because... Because why do you need to see the paint? Well... I was joking. Okay. No explanation. Only okay, perfect. It. All right, great. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so uh, what did everybody get into this uh, weekend uh, while we're sitting here painting some Dark Age yeah. stuff? Who watched Game of Thrones? What's Game of Thrones? Oh, so good. Was it good? This past episode. You know you it was because you literally put up that weird fanboy gif reaction. I would, I, number one, I would never. Absolutely did. Never do that. That just does not sound like me. And what's so funny is I heard already that we are in our D&D campaign yeah, are going to be fighting the, the dra dragon during the a caravan. You, the more you talk crap, the more it's going to happen. <laughs> so, yeah. Just wait for it. And also, wait to spoil there's a dragon in the episode. Spoiler culture. There's a dragon in the episode? Yep, spoiler culture. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> That's how it works. But yeah, no, it was uh, it was the goods. I would put that easily in the top five uh, episodes of all time. I would too. I uh, I actually rewatched the uh, the whole episode yesterday. As did I. And 
It was better the second time around for a reason. Well, I mean, I don't know about better, but I didn't feel like I was going to throw up during the, the whole second half of the, of the show. Because I was so stressed out uh, with the whole second half that I felt like I was going to vomit. Wow, so, you really are invested in this so, show, So, huh? yeah. That's ridiculous. We got to think. I've been, you know, invested in the, the IP for, you know... Decades. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Um, so, yeah, I mean... It was a it was a it was the first time that two principal characters were in that type of scene together, and uh, it was a big deal. Yeah. So yeah, good stuff. Good stuff all around. Yeah. My favorite part was the spoilers. Yeah, spoiler, <laughs> and it's a mild spoiler. Uh, <laughs> when they all died. Well, no, that, you know that's not a spoiler. We all know that's going to happen. Well, true. Um, no, the uh, sparring session. Yes. I was like, eh. yes. <laughs> so, Arya is Alyssa's favorite character, mm -hmm. so uh, so yeah, she was also fangirling for that one. Nice, enjoyable. So I am using what are you using? Banshee what? Brown. Okay. For that, I'll be using on my as my base for the flesh. Okay. Uh, based on what it kind of looks like, because it kind of looks like that. It's brown. pretty similar to what I'm using, yeah. so color wise. Yeah, you just gonna need to put multiple coats on. Oh there. yeah. Um, that's that's the that's that's the trick. Well, that's the real trick, isn't it? Indeed. So I uh, so I watched that. Uh, what else did I do? I, I managed to finish up the Last Kingdom. The entire. So the two seasons. Oh yeah. my gosh. So so I, I wrecked that. I wrecked that hard. Well, Lisa, the wife, was gone for over a week, almost a week and a half. So I had a lot of downtime on my hands as opposed to entertaining her, and because uh, that's what I do. And she came back I'm, to Changed Woman, I heard. I'm basically a, uh, a dancing fool. Yeah. And she says, entertain me. And I have to do yes, of course. get up, dance around, well, stuff of that nature. You said I do, yo. Uh, I knew what I was getting into. I mean, mm. I am the fool, so that works, that works out. <laughs> um, oh, I forgot the hand. So, yeah, so if I crushed that. That was, that was my, my goal, was to get through that, those two seasons, and I did. Perfect. And it was good. If you haven't seen it. Worth, give, worth give, a look. Give it a whirl. Especially if you like the show Vikings. If you like the show Vikings, um, it's very reminiscent of that um, because, you know, the stories are similar. It shares some of the, you know, not, not some of the characters, but it's almost like kind of a sequel where, the you know, it's, it's a lot of time later than the Vikings yeah. series. So kind of you're seeing what Ragnar started and what he built kind of a thing mm -hmm. and getting into, you know, that shenanigans. So, yeah, cool. Good stuff. I like it. Drew says he has a couple of friends who are in the Dark Age, though I have not played, painted them myself. Drew, the models are very cool. I think you'd dig them. Yeah. I mean, if you're into that sort of if thing, If you Drew, like painting. If you like painting. Which... One would never guess no, that would be the case with you. I mean, there's no blue and red in these, so... Right. I mean, there's blue-ish. No, cr no crimson fist. I'm sorry. Drew. Right. Sorry, Drew. And there could be, but, you know... I don't understand how that would e relate. Well... You gotta put a good spin on it. Oh, yeah. Put a good spin on it. Speaking of Game of Thrones, I told you how I was running uh, the RPG for the group that I at the store for the, yeah, the birthday. Yeah, on event. Saturday, right? Yeah, which is a hot mess because there's so many people in the group, and they want one more, and I'm just like... Oh, my gosh. I'm gonna pump the brakes. But, yeah, it was it's it's a lot. Especially for that type of game, it gets pretty, you know, intensive when it comes to conversations or whatever. But mm -hmm. we made the house. All right. It was the opposite of the slop house that we created on the show. Great. This <laughs> was, uh, it was from the uh, the Erie, oh, the okay. mountains of the moon. So that's an interesting area that I had. It was cool for me because I got to learn a lot about that area, which I didn't know a lot about okay. the Erie and stuff like that. But yeah, I just remember just watching them roll around the table for all their stuff, and just thinking that we rolled just terrible. Yes, <laughs> we rolled just like garbage. So yeah, it was and, pretty funny. And that's good. It is. However, I have noticed that that the character creation when we do it here in the show, especially the last two characters, because of the feedback mm -hmm. we got, was just so much 
more entertaining? Well, not more entertaining, but I think you got a lot more out of it. You got an idea of exactly what that character was. Right. We did that to a degree, but when you have six people around the table... All and everybody wants to talk. Right, so what we're going to do is before the next episode, no, season, episode season, the next session, is uh, you know kind of do that a little bit more. Talk okay. about the motivations and goals and all that fun. Yeah, stuff. it makes sense. Because even the people were saying, oh, I did see somebody at the store also that said that he got into that game by watching our show. It was uh -huh. really cool. Nice. It was really neat. So... Um, so that was exciting, but just the, 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 the no similarities between houses. It's just so they, they could be our nemesis house. Just so different, it's so different. They could be our nemesis house. Yeah. No, no, too far away. Love Dark Age. Play it with my 14-year-old. Awesome, Tyler. Kenan, who hasn't? So yeah, that's one of the things. Is I noticed uh -oh, that the, Carl says he's behind on Game of Thrones. Uh oh. Plug your ears, Carl. Plug your ears. Um, Jason from New Zealand. What, What's up? what kind of dice were in? Was it 20 sided I saw in there? In the box? Yeah. Is it a 20 Bunch side? of 20 dice. So so the game is based on, on a D20 system. That's mm -hmm. kind of, that's really cool. Um, actually, like uh, changing up the dice games a little bit and right. seeing what different ones we can get on there. Yeah, Banshee Brown is, I think, the color I needed to use. Yeah, the one, is that the one you're using? Mm-hmm. Okay. So you're happy? Yeah. That's all that matters. As long as you're happy with yourself. Right, because, you know, Cause, no, one, no one else will yes. be. <laughs> If you haven't got your health, you can't go in. You haven't got anything. All right. Yeah, it's, it's a good color, too. It's just going to take a couple of colors. Yeah. So that's not a problem. But, but yeah, yeah, yeah. So this weekend, I think, I'm trying to think what's going on this weekend coming up. Oh, I'm probably going to go to the drive-in again. I love going to the drive-in. Number one, you're going to the drive-in. But I noticed you went to the same drive-in, like the same shows, like <laughs> were they the same movies. That you saw the previous time? The no. Room? They weren't. No, I saw Cars 3, Guardians of the Galaxy 2 at the last time I went. Okay. This time it was Spider-Man Home... Or it was... I could have sworn that's what... It was Despicable Me 3, uh, Spider-Man okay. Homecoming, and um, The Mummy, a triple feature, for $10. And how was The Mummy? I did not stay and watch it. That's too bad. <laughs> if, if I would have stayed and watched it, I would not have gotten home until almost 4 in the morning. So? And I just couldn't... My constitution isn't that high. No? No. And then uh, this weekend, it, it, it's another triple feature, and it's going to, going to be, it starts off with Spider-Man Homecoming. So you're going to watch it again? Yeah. It's a great movie. Is it number three? Third time I've watched it? Yes. It'll be fourth time if I go again. But you can't beat it, man. You, oh, three movies for ten bucks? Yeah, but dude, I, don't, I couldn't watch my favorite movie that often. No, well, that's because you're weak. In fact... <laughs> right, I'm not gonna argue with that. I'm trying to think what the other two are. I, the other, the second one is another one that I want to watch. I just can't remember what, what they are. Right now. Is it Baywatch? Is it what? Is it Baywatch? No, it's not Baywatch. Center this box on the table. That wasn't the voice that we wanted. <laughs> that wasn't the voice of God. Center your box. Is that better? Yeah, that looks better. Duh. I don't know if I wanted people actually seeing my hands, though. True. They're the worst. I uh, I have not seen uh, the Rick and Morty yet, though. The new... Uh, the new season? The new, well, no, I've seen the first two, but I haven't seen the new one. The that newest episode? On Sunday, yes. Have you? Nope. Have you watched any Rick and Morty uh, ever in your life? Yeah, a couple episodes. I saw the one where he goes... You need to get back into the swing of things, because you're missing out. <sighs> I don't know. Uh, you don't know. I mean, I've seen a couple that I thought were really good, like the one where it's like, show me what you've got. Yeah. I've seen that episode, and I've seen the one where the creatures that you, are like like uh, parasites. You, you just saw the ones that we saw in the hotel room. Yes, <laughs> that's right. God, I've never been more disappointed in all my life. And the one where the... Um, the parasite episode was brilliant. Where they go... To like they micro they make themselves smaller and they're sure. getting energy from another universe right. that Rick created and <laughs> so good yeah so what, what what's your problem with the show why, why it's not that there's a problem it's what Tommy? I'm busy all the oh, time you're not busy. you think that once this once you we're think, done painting it's, it, I have nothing else to do you know you think going to the movies for 18 hours isn't is, is, is a time sink it Normal is. people just go to see a movie not 15 I go it's three <laughs> it's three. <laughs> And like I said, I've been to a couple triple features there, and I've never been able to watch the third movie. No? <laughs> no, because I'm just, just done. Exhausted. I'm sure that's probably the case for most people that go to the drive-in. Yeah. 
but it's it's a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. Because if you have, you know if you've ever been to a drive-in and, like when you were a kid and or like of my age as a kid. So this uh, is all nostalgia reasons. A lot of it's it nostalgia. Okay. Because they literally play all the 1950s and 60s like intermission commercials Let's and all go to the it's drive. yeah. It is so cool. Let's all go to the lobby. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that whole thing it's great. Amazing. I don't know. It's just It's just you. It's it, okay, baby. It's, it's the member baby. Well, member that's berries. what it is. That's 100% what it is. It's the member berries that are just taking over my my life right now. Just saying. Less member berries, more Rick and Morty. You'll be, do yourself right. <laughs> You're probably right. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Yeah, Dark Age. I play the Space, Mi Space Mayans. That's Josh. Oh, yeah? Josh Davis, yeah. 20 is a fumble. One is a crit on Whoa, Dark Age. Oh, no. It's going to screw me up so bad. Do you ever get... Ever go see the double, triple features at Benji's Drive-In? Those are always a fun time. Yeah, that's where I go is Benji's. I'm sure. It's Benji's Drive-In. Who said that? That was Drew. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's where I've been going. Uh, it's kind of like go there. Uh, if you want to bring your own food, it's like you, you, you have to pay like a $10 fee to bring your own food in. Well, how will they know? They search your car? They look. Mm -hmm. They don't go in into the car, but they ask. And, you know, you want to be, you know, truthful. Do you? Yeah. Do you? Yeah. <laughs> and the thing is, too, is like their food if there I, isn't. I'm a garbage bag full of popcorn. I'm not going to tell them I have a garbage bag. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> You're just not going to do I'm it? I'm just not going to do it. Because hmm. then they'll want some. That's true. They They'll charge me for my garbage bag of popcorn? They would because your garbage bag of popcorn is taken away from their. Garbage bags of popcorn? Garbage bags of popcorn. That's ridiculous. Because it's not like they're making a butt ton of money, you know? Yes, they're they are. They're drive ins. There's only a few left what's in the, the nation. Up, what's the upkeep of a drive-in? You got to mow <laughs> the thing. You know. And you got to pay to get those movies in to watch. Do you know those aren't free? I don't know. I'm suspect about that as well. They're charging for my snacks. The snacks there aren't overpriced either. No? No, they're not They're not your Cinemarks or... Are you saying Cinemarks are overpriced? I'm not saying they aren't. <laughs> This show brought to you in part by Cinemark. Cinemark and Coke. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. Getting some armor plates down. Coming along base coat style. Nice. So much faster than me. Well, no, no. While you were doing your intro and talking about the product, I was painting like a jerk. Damn it. So, there you go. Uh, Brian... Uh, from cool Simon said, I want someone to win our Immortals tournament and make a Rick and Morty tribute figure. Uh, I, I know I know of at least two or three people that are playing in that tournament, and I think all three of them would be down for that. What is is that like a store tournament? No, 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 that's Gen Con. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that'd be it's, cool. a, it's a big boy. Um, I know Sam is going to be playing in uh, at, at least one. Of the events there, oh, okay. In this dark age, so I think more than that, actually. I think it's gonna be a big part of his Gen Con experience. He's playing in the tournaments. Very cool. Which one, Sam? The British. Oh, okay. The British. Oh, he's going with you? <laughs> Not with me, but he's going. Oh, okay. That guy. Yippers. Um. What was I gonna say? Oh, so yeah, and, and now that uh, Starfinder has uh, been officially, quote unquote, released? Released? On, yeah, there's no. Well, the PDFs and the special editions, editions have been released. So that means that uh, there's going to be more of those to play slash run at Gen Con also. Yeah. So that'll be cool. But I know I have people that are, are going to show me how to play this game here. Since Origins, because I picked up some of the stuff for them on Origins, I was like, all right, well, the deal is you show me how to play it. So, to call in, call in those favors. There we go. All right, we'll let that. What's that? Chill for a minute. We'll put him over here. I'll grab this guy and do his very grabby, flesh tonies. Very grabby, grabby today. Uh, that is leather. Yeah, it's cloth. 
mouth, I believe. Let's see here. So that's the thing, because you don't know the IP very well and you haven't played it yet, so you're consistently kind of right. looking and seeing uh, what there is and what things look like. Constantly. I, uh, hey, Rutherford, thank you very much. We appreciate you watching. We really do. Thank you very much. Uh, Drew says, their food at Benji's is actually pretty good and not terribly expensive as far as theater. For yeah, exactly. And Josh Yates, what's up? Hey, guys, what game are we painting today? Uh, this is Dark Age. We're, um, we're painting some Dragiri ice cast uh, models out of the Path to Glory two-player starter box. Dark Age. Dark Age. Immortals is our annual championship at the Simon Expo, but you win your entry oh, point I thought at one there. of the March to Immortality tourneys at Gen Con and Nova Open, PAX Unplugged, etc. Ooh, PAX Unplugged's going to have a... Uh, event. If you win Immortals, we turn you or your idea into an official miniature and story arc in the game. Yeah, a Rick and Morty story arc in this game would be hilarious. I mean, if you watch that. If because, you watch that kind of thing. Yeah, I don't, I haven't really watched it. <laughs> because he's too hipster. It's too mainstream. Oh my god. If people never heard about it, he'd be all over it. That's not me yeah, at all. Okay. Okay. You know it's, that's true. I don't know. Starting to think you're really, you're really starting to get on my goat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could kill you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Some call it a Kaiser blade. I call it a sling blade. <laughs> you call it a Kaiser blade. That's right. I would call it a Kaiser blade because it's what Jesus. old people do. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, boy. All righty. Moving right along here. I almost feel like some some of this armor is like a part of the flesh. Yeah, so something the leg is. That, that's 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 him. That's it's all crazy. him. Crazy. So don't paint those metal. Okay. Look at mad. He will. Will not appreciate that. It's the worst. Not on parts. All righty. What's up, Keith? Thanks for joining us. Josh says every time, every, every, every can get the Dark Age rules and start card, stack cards for free. Go check out their website. Oh, cool! You can get every Dark Age rule and stack card for free. Go check out their website. Cool. Everyone. 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 That's right. Thanks, Josh. Everybody. I, I like say. it. I did not know that. Yes. All right. Yeah. Yeah. This uh, these guys are gonna be pretty pretty cool. You say that. I do say that. I actually I say that quite a bit. Now, anybody watching Preacher? No. This this I'm season. Not up. It's. Uh, is it bonkers? It's a little wacky to it all this this season. Well, it always is. Uh, there's a few things that have I think in the last like two episodes have kind of tuned it down. In one one respect, uh, the characters are going through a, some trying trying times right now. Uh, As well, they should be, but, but but good overall. Yeah, always good. I think uh, the actor who plays Preacher was like a perfect cast. Yeah, much like the the actor that was cast as uh, Constantine in the TV series. Yeah, yeah, was perfect as well. And did I didn't hear they're bringing that back. No, really, I thought I did. What's going on is, from what I've read, is that the Legends of Tomorrow group is trying to get that uh, that character to be part of the next season of Legends of uh, Tomorrow. I thought another series, another channel picks it up or something. If any channel picks it up, it needs to be CW. Well, they're the ones that do it. Or didn't they do it originally? No, they did not. Oh, they did not. No, much, oh. much like Supergirl was on a different, um, I want to say Fox or CBS. CBS. Were they on CBS? Like you'd know. God, he's the worst. <laughs> well, uh, it's not like you worked for CBS before. The worst. But um, yeah, so she and now she's on CW. Okay. And so they can all kind of group up. Yeah, and I think Constantine would. I think he should have his own show back and be on the same with those guys. But you never know. That'd be stupid. <laughs> Jesus. 
can't can't have anything. Can't nice. do it. I'll take it away. That's what I do. If it's something you like, I will poo poo it. It's not my fault. It's not. It's, not, it's just your personality. It's not my fault. Yeah, it was never raised right. No, no. Raised by wolves. Well, you are from Upper New York, right? Upstate New York. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of. Kind of. Sort of. Yeah. Ish. In the hills. Yeah. With the wolves. All right. What are we doing now? Freaking out. You are freaking out, man. Over this. Oh. No? How's it coming? It's fine. It's yeah. gonna, like you said, though, it's going to need multiple done? coats. No. I would get more paint on your brush. That would be my first thing. You're kind of just dabbing the tip. Actually, kind of, when you're base coating, get more paint on there. Yeah. Grrr. Just slop it on. I hate it. <laughs> it's the worst. You got to get all sloppy in there. Come on. Ugh. Don't. What? I don't like that. D you don't? No. All right. Well, what can you do? But I get it. I understand. I understand what, that you don't like it. All right. He's the worst. What? 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 Um, so, yeah, we'll be back. Uh, we'll be painting this today and Thursday. And Thursday. Um, so, hopefully, we'll see some good progression. Like I said, uh, getting the base coats down today. Um, maybe uh, the first, like, maybe uh, shades or washes. Mm -hmm. um, stuff like that. And then we'll be able to do the highlights and all the other fun jazz on Thursday. And uh, we had something else going on Thursday, right? We do. What's that? We are going to go live right after Painting Happy Little Minis. We're going to take a little intermission and come right back. And we're going to do an, a special episode of Building Character. On a Thursday? On a Thursday. That doesn't make any sense. Well, it was also taking into consideration availability of other people oh. to come in and do this with us. Uh oh. So we're going to have Tommy Simbazo. Is that how you say his name? Yes. I always get it wrong. I always call him like Johnny, Tommy, Timmy, Tommy. Whatever. That makes Half sense. the times you call him Jim. Or Jim. Jimmy Simbezo? Well, Jim is my like go-to name. If I can't remember your name, it's Jim. That makes sense. Now, it's not to be rude or anything. It's just I. It's just to be rude. I'm a face guy. That's what I always say. That's my excuse. Is that a bad excuse? Yeah, it probably it's is. Garbage. But Tommy will be in here, and uh, with building character, we're trying to get a couple other folks in. And it's going to be a Starfinder building character what? episode. Yeah, and then on Friday, it's building character. I think uh, maybe we'll do a villain. Okay. Or something, or, or, or work on some, or flesh out a couple more we'll characters. We'll see how far we get. Like I said, yeah, it might be the case is just doing more characters. But it stuff. just, it won't be, it'll just be us again. It won't, right. We won't have a crew. But uh, yeah, so tune in on Thursday is uh, if you're if you like Starfinder or been curious about what it looks like and stuff like that. This is going to be, like I said, going live, showing you the book, uh, yeah. talking about character creation, talking about the different classes and races yes. and stuff like that. Pretty cool stuff. Um, but yeah, very, very cool stuff. If you're into that sort if of If you're thing. into that sort of thing, yeah. yeah. It's, like not, it's not for everybody. If you're not into that stuff, you'll probably really hate the show. Yeah, and us. And us. Yeah. By proxy. Because <laughs> we are the worst. The worst. <laughs> Isn't this so true, too? I hate me. <laughs> oh, at least we have something in common. Yep. <laughs> it's the truth. What's up, James? James is in the house. Tulip is great, I agree. What? Yeah, that's what I say, Steve. No, slop, no slopping. You know, be, don't be sloppy. There's a I'm your painting. I here. say slopping because... I just want him to actually get paint on his brush. <laughs> I figure if I go to extremes, it'll happen. It'll it'll it'll, it'll, it'll meet halfway. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we'll see. We'll doubtful. Yeah. Uh, what time on Thursday? We'll spread the word. All right. Well, Ryan, uh, two. It'll be two p.m. Thursday. We'll be doing the painting some more uh, for the Dark Age, and then about uh, three thirty is when we'll go live for Building Character Starfinder Edition. Yep, so same time for this good stuff. Like I said, get some highlights down, show all the coolness, um, because there's a lot of detail on these models. Yeah. So we want to make sure that we're getting enough time to be able to show it all off. Yeah, see? That's the ticket. Did you notice the how the hallway coming in is all straightened up out there? No. 
You didn't? And all the all the artworks put up on the walls? No. Ugh. <laughs> this guy. Why did you do that? No. No. Oh. Darn yeah, I noticed that. <laughs> of course you did. <laughs> I did notice. I saw. Well, actually, such I such a hater. I didn't notice all of it. I just uh, walking in here, I saw the Star Wars stuff, which was really cool. Oh yeah. And all that fun jazz. All right. What? You showing off your goods? Showing them off, yeah, a little bit. That's gross. I want the uh, gun, gun metal. You have gun metal? Yeah. Not that one. Gun metal. I want my gun metal. Yeah. Nobody likes your gun metal. He makes a good point. Aha, found it. Did you though? I did. Did you though? Yep. Good cleaning there, Rick. <laughs> Back from camping, it was beyond amazing. I, I saw your post that you had a good time up there on your camping trip that you are back from the silence and ready to go back to work and do all the good work things. All that fun stuff. Yeah. So very cool. I'm glad you had a good time. From out in the wilds. Is that where he was? Uh, camping, you said? Yeah, he went camping. And I think it was just you know an opportunity to unplug and kind of get away from all the you gotta do that interwebs sometimes. and social medias and all those things and. Uh, you're right. Sometimes you just got to do it. There's all your freaking memes and stuff it gets annoying. Yeah, after yours a while. do. It gets annoying after a while. <laughs> annoying. All right, base coats are coming along. He says that, but I don't think he knows. You're not almost done yet. No. Why? Because. I'm actually working on two miniatures, whereas oh, okay. you were just doing the one there, apparently. So you'll still have two miniatures on the bench. <laughs> Smarty pants. Yeah, it's my, it's my curse. Smarty pants. That's okay. I'll, I'll, I'll do that as well. I'm just getting to the point where I'm going to do the shades because, yeah, because that's when, there's nothing I can do after that. Once the shades hit. Yeah, you know, whatever you got to tell yourself. You know. You know. <laughs> or I'm just better than you. I mean. There could be that, too. It's just complete, purely skill. Hey, guys. Painting Necrons tonight. Nice to have you company. All right, Judge. Necrons. Necrons. I actually played my Necrons for the first time this weekend. Oh, is this going to be a long story? Nope. It uh, was there cooler than I anticipated. Really? Hmm. Yes. Yep. I had a lot of fun with him. Well, that's nice. Isn't that special? <laughs> well, now. Oh, it was a couple retreat. That's what it was. Oh. Can't go wrong with those. Again, it's also a good opportunity just to unplug and reset. Is it though? It is. I'm sure they had Wi-Fi all around them. No, not in Canada. Yeah, good point. <laughs> Moose running around with an antenna on his head. <laughs> Fact. <laughs> Canadian Wi-Fi. <laughs> Get over here. We know we say this in all of James. <laughs> Do we though? Yes. <laughs> He agrees. He knows. He knows how it is. Speaking of Canadians. Yeah, I like that story. Yeah. I, be I believe <laughs> at Baltimore Comic Con this year we'll have a Canadian at our booth. Oh? Yeah. Amazing. Yeah, the return of the Mac. I don't know what that means. Well, it's the return of Ken Lashley at our booth. Oh. Which would be awesome. If you guys haven't checked out Ken Lashley's artwork, um, just look him up on, on Facebook, Ken Lashley or Lead Killer, L-E-D-K-I-L-L-A. Okay. The Lead Killer. He's awesome. Does some amazing Star Wars uh, artwork. He's currently do the cover. I think he's doing the interiors now, too, for X-Men Gold. It's gold. For Marvel. But he's a cool dude. Yeah, good stuff. Yeah. Well, you saw that stormtrooper helmet that we have indeed. that sharpie. That thing is sick, nasty. Yeah, he did a did the sharpie oh, art on there. I love that thing. Jesus, I tried to steal it multiple times, but the security keeps Sur searching me. Yeah, it's just ridiculous. By security, it's just like, hey, stop. Please, please put it down. <laughs> put it down. <laughs> you're not fooling anybody. You're literally wearing it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say I'm a, I'm a good thief. Right. 
Not like my character. No, no, no. Who is also not a good thief. No. <laughs> By no means. Well, he actually probably is. We just haven't really done any thievery. No. Or what? I don't really use my thievery and my character as a thief. I'm using him more as a treasure hunter. So. Which makes sense. Hey, sometimes you'll have to steal treasure, so. Yeah, you got to Indiana Jones that stuff. Bound to happen sooner or you later. You know, they got to balance that sandbag and the That's and right. the tiki statue and just, ha, ah, and hope that a boulder doesn't chase you down or a black dragon. Or both. Or both, yes. If I roll another hundred, <laughs> got to be both. All righty. How you doing over there? It's coming along. I actually am not upset with what I'm doing here. Good. You shouldn't be. If you're right. upset at what you're doing, then there's something wrong. I need to reevaluate. Right. And it's uh, good to have that conclusion early on in your painting, also. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Like, like, you know, color choices and stuff like yeah. that. It's uh, it's it's better to be like, you know what? These don't look good. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna right. start over and stuff like that, or a technique that you try to use, mm -hmm. it's better to establish that that technique's not working. Right. I'm going back to formula as opposed to, I'm going to keep going and push through and see what happens. Right, and see if I can fix it. Right, and chances are you know, I, fixing it with, with doing the same technique is not probably going to happen. No. But if you change techniques up, maybe paint over or something like that, that's yeah. different. But yeah, this, these miniatures are freaking amazing looking. I'm really excited about them. Yeah, it's actually, they're actually very uh, easy to paint because the uh, details are so prominent on them. Mm -hmm. it, uh, it's making it quite enjoyable. Indeed. Yes. Because <laughs> I'm a painting snob, apparently. What? Are yes, you? Yes, yes. Who I'll, said that? Yes, I'll paint these. <laughs> Who said that? Your face. Well, I, I am like a book. Oh, you stupid book. Whoa. <laughs> No Wi-Fi, no cell, no cell signal either. Nice. Really? No cell signal? Holy Kurt, moly. Kurt, with no hat on, apocalypse soon to come. That's true, Mark. I left at home. Well, here's the thing. I, f I forgot it. He went and got himself a fresh cut. I got my hair did. And uh, everything. he went to the beauty salon, got a perm. Did. And it didn't hold, so now this no, is what we got to deal with. Then they brought out the Floby. Yep. Yeah, Johnny, you remember the Floby. <laughs> yes! Now, there's a name I've not heard in a long time. In <laughs> a long time. <laughs> Wait, what's that from? Shut your mouth. <laughs> Rick, do you have a Floby? Uh, no. You didn't have one for your back? Uh, no, I just braid the hair on my back. <laughs> a back Floby. No, they braid it. Hey, honey. I used to be. It's a, Sunday. When I was in the military. Grab the Floby. When I was in the military, I was part of the obstacle course. You know how the rope, the rope climbing wall? Yeah. They just climb up the braided hair on my back. That makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, it was quite the uh, uh, quite the vision to see. <laughs> <laughs> They'd uh, try to run around me, but because of my size, it just wasn't happening. They're like, I don't want to do it. <laughs> I'm glad you didn't have the reasons. <laughs> Thank you. Have you seen Have you seen Rick on that new TV show, The Wall? <laughs> I haven't seen The Wall yet. It's good. Is it good? I watch it. Yeah. I watch it. But one reason, that, like, if if the people that come out to compete against the wall. Where they answer tri trivia questions and they put a ball and it goes down and then it yeah, yeah, yeah. goes into a... Was it Chris Hardwick? Yeah, Chris Hardwick, yeah. Um, yeah, I just, I just haven't gotten a chance to see um, it. So I like it when they're winning money, but I also like it when they're losing it. Because that is funny to is watch. It? Yeah. Because you can just see the, the anxiety as, you know, or, or, you know, you get these guys, like recently they had this guy who quit his job, which was a six-figure salary. To start doing this, um, he's preparing for the wall. No, <laughs> and him and his sister started this not for pro or you know nonprofit thing where they have like these um, shower trailers to take out for the homeless to be able to take a shower, get get done up so that they can go do job interviews. So oh. It's a great program. Um, but I thought <laughs> I was like, this guy couldn't answer a question. One, I was like, w what's wrong, dude? You were you were working at a a job where you were making six figures and you couldn't answer, the, and these questions aren't aren't hard. Do that. They're not hard questions. Okay. Um, but apparently they are to some people. For some people, apparently they are. I was just like, how do you not know this? 
you know, I'm trying to remember one of them is like, quit being so stupid. Oh, I don't. They're, no, they're not stupid. It's just, you know, people are subjected to different things and, and stuff. You know, they, there are people that just don't watch television or don't keep up with current events or no geography or no history, <laughs> you know. But this person didn't, didn't have, know any of that. Didn't have a wide range of knowledge. <laughs> no, right. No. no, it happened. And it was sad because I really wanted them, because of their, their uh, organization that they had started, I really wanted them to win a lot of money. So that they could, you know, expand it because they they have it in uh, in one city now, but they want to expand it all over the United States. You gotcha. know, which would be great, a great uh, a great cause, great cause. Uh, but uh, no, they did not do well. But alas, that was not the case. No, it was not the case. And then I saw another episode where the family walked away with nothing. It, As in, they took their house away. Well, no, they oh, didn't that's, take anything. That's they just, too bad. They I just, was just about to start watching the wall. They just didn't <laughs> win anything. <laughs> if you lose real bad, they start yeah. taking stuff from you. Mm -hmm. So good. But the thing is that they were up really good. They yeah. had, they did have a lot of money at one point, and then uh, based on how they bet and everything, yeah. lost. You know, based on this conversation, Rick, I'm gathering a big piece of information that uh, you've been watching this instead of Rick and Morty. And uh, yep. <laughs> Because he's not very knowledgeable about the wall. Well, here's the thing that oh, here we go. Here's people thing. may or may not know about me. I love trivia. I love trivia shows. I, you know, so I watch Jeopardy every day. Every day I'll watch it. I come home. I'm like, you know, that cantankerous old goat that comes home and has to do the exact same thing every day. Come home. I want to eat dinner and watch my Jeopardy. That's just like, that's my stuff. Get off my yard. You know, I want to watch my it's Jeopardy, Jeopardy time. and what, answer as many questions what, as I can. What time does Wapner come on? Uh, Judge Wapner is, doesn't exist anymore. No, that's too bad. Do you, you don't watch People's Court, though? You watch People's Court? I've watched it before. You still watch it? Do you no, watch what literature it, wrote also? I'm no, just curious. No. Throwing out shows. And the reason is okay. because it's not trivia. I oh. said that. Yeah, you're making a good point. Make a good point. So I like watching that. I like watching the wall and Shaz and beat Shazam. What? I don't even know what that is. So you know the app Shazam, where you play. You if yes. there's a song, you yes. hook it, and Shazam should be able to tell you what it is within a certain amount of time. Sure. They have a show where you have to beat Shazam before. Shazam. Oh, this is pretty funny. Yeah. So you have to be able to guess the song based off a small little snippet before Shazam gets it. That's pretty funny. Yeah. I'm not good at that one. No. <laughs> no. No, I am not. There are certain like if it's like old oldies, oddly the <laughs> 60s, 70s, 80s, you know, which are now considered oldies, I guess. They are. Um, you old. 50s, 60s, and 70s, I'm really good at. 80s, I'm okay at. The 90s. Granted, I listen to a lot of music in the 90s. I just can't remember the dang song titles. <laughs> um, but in the more current stuff, I couldn't tell you. you no. Know, no. And it's not that I don't like it, because I do listen to a lot of music, like a lot of different types of music. You like that Taylor Swift? Uh, some of her songs are I pretty know good. you do. But, uh, you know, I like, like, Lindsey Sterling and... Uh, I don't know what that is. She's a violinist. I'm sure you know who she is. Is she on the radio? Not really. I'm not, I'm not listening. All right, you're the worst. <laughs> What's up, Brad? Lindsay Brad Shandera, that's a cool name. Lindsay Stern. Did he get a free bowl of soup with that haircut? <laughs> yes. <laughs> would that be Tom? Well, that would be, uh, that's coming from uh, Mark Bolger. Oh, uh, that was close. Uh, James, really? I figured Tom, Afobi. Mark, you're in that same boat. Uh, Drew's over here talking about, I've taken the, I've, I've taken the Jeopardy entrance exam every year since I was 18. I hope to get on the show one day. I've taken it a few times myself. Um, and what's funny is, like, if you have an, uh, the, uh, what is it, the Amazon Dot or the Alexa? Yeah. Um, yeah, there's, I haven't used it yet, but, yeah, there is an app on there. That you can play a sixth category or sixth question to, eat, to uh, six categories from the show. Um, and then they rank you amongst all the other players that have participated on Alexa app that day. That's kind of cool. And I usually am in the the top one or two percent. No, oh, yeah. Because yeah, I'm I know trivia. It's ridiculous. I'm like a trivia freaking. I don't know the answer to that. You're an, Cause an, an uh, idiot savant. We'll go with that. Minus the you're, all of it. You're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> 
But no, I, I don't. I would never claim to be Jeopardy smart, but I'd love to be Jeopardy. Uh, Jeopardy watching smart. Well, I'd like to be on Jeopardy at least once, even if I lost. Just to say I did it. I'd probably be like Cliff Clavin from Cheers, and be and like answer every question and just just destroy it. But when it comes down to the double Jeopardy, bet it all, and it's a question about the postal service, and I get it wrong. <laughs> forgot about that. So good. Oh, Cliff Clavin. There was a time we had actually considered doing a trivia show here uh, called um, Wow, That's What I Call Trivia yeah. type thing. Um, where we, it was all pop culture, nerd-centric uh, trivia questions around the comic and gaming and uh, movies. All that, you know, pop culture. Sure. So we had considered doing that and bringing people in. Like doing like six episodes, uh, like a year or something like that. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Have you seen? Uh, or have, yeah, you, you were there when we did the Geek Out at the store. Yeah. That sh- that that's a great game. Alisa Teaks. I don't know what that means. She's the one that made it. No, was she? Yeah, with Playroom Games, her brother owns Playroom oh, yeah, Games, yeah. and she's the creator of that game. It's a good game. Yeah. It's a good game because it's a, it's a one-upping game. <laughs> yeah, uh, it so, is. So it's. it's yeah, who can name more of a certain subject that's in nerdy yep. geek culture? It's awesome. Yeah. Uh, He's back there whistling, trying to get our attention. It's like, like what, is, what do you want, John? Just say the word. I didn't like that at all. <laughs> God, it's so much all better. All right. That's so much better. <laughs> God, he scared me with whistling. I thought it was in my head. Yeah, I thought there was the fire alarm. You are freaking out, man. <laughs> I didn't hear anything. I think it was in your head. <laughs> I can put him up if you want. All right. I'm going to show you guys uh, Kurt's Base coating work here. Almost done. All right. <sighs> there we go. He's definitely has a lot. Bathed in the glow of ice. Yes. That looks really <laughs> rad with that blue underlining. That's what I say. It's crazy. So, yeah. Um, like I said, uh, we'll finish these up on Thursday at least or see how close to finish we can get with them. Um, yeah. And hopefully, you know, schedule out the learn to play games. That's something we wanted to actually get scheduled out post Gen Con, actually start yeah. filming and stuff like that. We have to. Well, <laughs> contractually. Back- we're getting backlogged. <laughs> We're getting backlogged now. So, um, but so yeah. So we'll, we'll hopefully have the whole thing painted up by then. Um, be able to you know do the learn to play game, so you guys can kind of learn yeah. with us. Hopefully, I'll get one before that. Um, and and, to, and please, guys, if you want to see these models, go to your local hobby shop. Uh, ask to see Dark Age. Ask for a demonstration game if they do demo games, um, or or whatever events they have there. Check it out. Check out the models. Pick up you know, the rule book. Read into it. It's, it's really cool from what I've seen so far. I'm looking forward to really delving into the rules later today. Um, but, uh, yeah, or, or like I said, check the website out. The link's in the, uh, in the comments. In the comments, yep. Yeah. Check it out. It's going to be a lot of, oh, James Ryan decided to show us show up. Mm. Thanks, James. Mm. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Um, and, and Thursday we're doing the uh, Starfinder. Starfinder. Star- yeah, we're going to do a building character Starfinder edition. Starfinder. Yeah. Okay, that's crossfire. I really... <laughs> it's a nerf thing, right? Johnny, you got to make the crossfire, except for put Starfinder in there. You got three days. Two days. Go. Go. Nice. <laughs> Starfinder. One more game. One more game. So good. God, we're old. It's so fun. It's true that. True that. Um, also, if you guys are so inclined, uh, share the link to your favorite game store that you go to in, in uh, either the comments here or on our page so we can sh- give shout-outs to, to your guys' game stores. And you never know, the people that are watching also might see them and go, oh, I didn't know about that store in Virginia. I'm going to go to check it out. You know? Exactly. Help them out. If you go to a store, you represent it, you help them out, you're part of the community. Go yeah. out there. And if you haven't followed us on Painting Happy Little Minis and uh, Facebook, do so, please. Mm-hmm. Uh, join the discussions and stuff. We have a lot more stuff that we're actually going to be putting onto the Facebook very soon. 
Um, it's just kind of figuring out all the stuff, you know, in yeah. the order we want to do that. Uh, and keep posting your stuff, guys. Yeah. You know, post the stuff you're working on. We love that stuff. It makes us feel like garbage because you're so much better than we are. <laughs> but, so even, e but even if you're just beginning and you want tips and advice and stuff like that, do it. You know, this this is the community. We want everyone to kind of share their, their what they're working on and get feedback mm -hmm. and, and ask for advice and stuff like that. So please, that, that's what we're here for is, is, is you know, no judgment, and, and we're here to, to help you. you know? Yeah, we'll absolutely. Progress the hobby. So if you're brand yeah. new, we'll give you advice on, right, what to do next, you know, stuff like that. Exactly. I have a hard time giving the advice because, you know, I ask for advice yeah. more than I give it. I know you have a hard time taking it because you still don't put enough paint in your brush. I'm putting plenty of paint. You've been dabbing that dry brush. I can't wait to show you the video back. Dab, dab, dab. It is what it is. Dab. <laughs> <laughs> so it is. All right, guys. So it is. We do appreciate all of you. Please share this on your social media or in any any groups that you're a part of that uh, you think might enjoy our content that we're making here with Pain and Handful of Minis or with uh, Building Character. Yeah, share us in ridiculous places, too. The first person that shares it to a Golden Girls Flag fan club. Yeah. Oh, that. my God, please. All over that. Yeah, any other groups that are just wacky doodle be like, you know, or that. one that you just are trying to get kicked out of. Thank you for yeah. being my friend. Right. Ugh. All right, so that's it for today. We'll see you guys on Thursday. Have a wonderful week. And uh, I'm Rick here for Painting Happy Little Minis with that guy right there. Yeah, me. Kurt. Okay. And we'll see you guys Thursday. <laughs>